Sveiki, this is Everyday Sentences in Lithuanian series, and today we have the 11th lesson, Pokalbi Telefono, Pokalbi Telefono, Phone Conversations, or po Conversations Pokalbi on the Phone, Telefono. Now it's our 11th lesson, only the 12th lesson, Illnesses, uh, is left, and then we'll have a review of all sentences and phrases we learned in all those 12 lessons. So now let's start our lesson. Allo! 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 Allo means hello. Jumskambena. Someone is calling. Jumskambena. Jumskambena. And then you say the name. Jumskambena Jonas. Jonas is calling you. Jumskambena Jonas. Justrugdo Mendogas, for instance. Mendogas is disturbing you. This is a polite phrase because jus is the accusative of use. You, plural. So justrugdo and jums is the dative of uh, use. So when you say the word skambinte, skambina, to call, you should use the dative case. Man skambina, uh, someone's calling me. Tau skambina, someone's calling you. Yum skambina, someone's calling for you, plural. Yum skambina is calling for you. So trugdite uh, means to disturb, and trugdo, uh, it's the he, she, they disturb or is, is, are disturbing. So, you are being disturbed by something like this. And you say the name. You can say your name. You struck the mantas. Uh, mantas is disturbing, you literally. Uh, not literally, but you know. Trugdite, yus. So, you struck the and you say the name, you struck them. I'm not sure this is a um, very correct sentence in uh, the grammar terms, but uh, you can use this phrase. It is a widely understood and widely used phrase. Che, che, you can say your name. It's John, Che Jonas, or it's uh, Alexei, Cha Alexeus. So you can say here is and then your name. When you're calling your friends or your relatives, you can use this phrase. This is an informal phrase. So when you're saying politely that someone is calling you, you can say someone your name uh, and you can say is disturbing you. You struck the Jonas. But if you're calling your friends, you can say Cha Jonas or Yums Kambina Jonas. It's again, it's this is a polite phrase also. And when you're answering your phone, you say Allo, Allo. A soft L, L, Allo, Allo, Allo. Argalita Pokvieste Mendoga. Can you invite Mendogas to the phone? Ar galite pakviesti mindauga? Ar galite pakviesti mindauga? Pakviesti means to invite, finished action. Pa, a prefix. Can you? Ar galite. Ar galite pakviesti mindauga? You must use the accusative, because to invite someone require, requires an accusative case, the accusative case. Ar yra? Ar yra mindaugas? Is mindaugas here? Ar yra mindaugas? Arira Mendogas. So, Ira means is. So, is Mendogas, literally. And ar is the interrogative particle for yes, no questions. Arira Mendogas. Is Mendogas here? Well, you can understand that this is as here because you're asking whether uh, you, whether someone could invite. Mindaugas to the phone. Argalta pakviesti mindauga. 
So those two phrases mean the same. Ar galite pakviesti mendaugą uh, and ar yra mendaugas, those are the same. This is of course more polite because ar galite, this is the second person plural, and ar yra mendaugas, you use nominative with this sentence, is mendaugas here. So two good phrases, can you invite, ar galite pakviesti, and is someone here, ar yra. Atsiprašau, ne čia pataikiau. Atsiprašau, ne čia pataikiau. I'm sorry, I've mistaken. Literally, I'm sorry, not here, I have uh, tried. Or, well, pataikyti means to, to make a shot or to hit the target. So, not here, I have... Mm, so, you translate it as... I've mistaken. Ne čia pataikiu. Pataikyti means to hit the target. Like when you shoot someone, pataikyti. Or when you're throwing something, like you're throwing a ball uh, through the win window, you can say aš pataikiu. Pataikiu. I've hit the target. Something like this. Or So, so you see. Atsiprašau, ne čia pataikiu. I'm sorry, I've mistaken. Atsiprašau, ne čia pataikiau. Surinkau ne tą numerį. Surinkau ne tą numerį. Surinkau ne tą numerį. I dialed the wrong number. Surinkti. Rinkti means to collect and surinkti means to collect. A finished action. So, when you're talking about dialing numbers, you can use this verb. Surinkti. Surinka, surinko. Surinkau, past tense. Surinkau ne tą numerį. Not that number. Or literally, the wrong number. Uh, literally not that, but we translate it as the wrong. Neta numeri. The wrong number. Surinko neta numeri. I would like to ask or to inquire. Norechu pasitirauti. Norechu pasitirauti. Norechu pasitirauti. Norechu pasitirauti. I would like to inquire or to ask about something. Argalechu. Could I meet you? Suimis susitikte. Ar galėčiau suimis susitikte? Ar galėčiau suimis susitikte? Ar galėčiau suimis susitikte? Could I meet you? So norėčiau, galėčiau are subjunctives. From the word norėti, to want. I would like norėčiau and to be able to galėti, au, uh, I would be I would be able to or I could argalechu argalechu so these are two subjunctives with you so you miss use you plural and you miss the plural instrumental because susitikte so you miss susitikte to meet finished action is used with the preposition so and with in so is always goes with instrumental. So this is plural instrumental. You miss with you. So you miss susitikte. Ar galėčiau su jumis susitikte? Could I meet you? This is a pretty, this is a quite polite sentence. Kada galėtume susitikte? When could we meet? Kada galėtume susitikte? Kada galėtume susitikte? This is also a subjunctive. When could we meet? Rytoj, aštunta vakare. Rytoj, aštunta vakare. Or, so basically, aštunta valanda vakare. Valanda is dismissed because, you know, you're talking about time in the evening. And, you know, it's already clear that it's the 8th hour, not the 8th minute or something. So, you use, you dismiss this word. Aštunta valanda vakare. You could also say aštunta valanda vakare. Rytoj aštunta valanda vakare. But it's shorter to say. It's easier to say. Rytoj aštunta vakare. So, tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening. Because, uh, of course, the 20th, literally, hour is used in Lithuanian. Dvidešimta valanda. The 8, 8 p.m. Uh, but uh, when people speak... They say aštunta or aštunta vakare, eight in the uh, at eight o'clock in the evening. 
you know, in colloquial Lithuanian, we use the hours 4 p.m. Uh, as normal hours, like 8 p.m. Ashtunta vakare in the evening. So Ashtunta valanda means 8 o'clock, the nominative case, and Ashtunta vakare means at 8 o'clock. If you want to say at 8 o'clock, at 7 o'clock, and so on, you use the accusative case of the uh, words septenta, ashtunta, devinta, dešimta, and so on. So, rytoj ashtunta vakare. Tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the evening. At 8 p.m. Unfortunately, deja, this time, šitas laikas is inconvenient, nepatogus, for me, man. Deja, šitas laikas man nepatogus. Deja, šitas laikas man nepatogus. Unfortunately, this time is inconvenient for me. Nepatogus means inconvenient. Patogus means convenient, convenient or uh, comfortable, and nepatogus, inconvenient. <coughs> for me, man. If you're using such words, patogus, nepatogus, you have to use the dative case. Man nepatogus, for me, not convenient. Deja means unfortunately. Uh, but you can also use an identical phrase which sounds like this. Deja šitas laikas man netenka. Deja šitas laikas man netenka. <coughs> Unfortunately, this time doesn't suit me. Šitas laikas man netenka. Tikiti means to suit someone and netenka, it doesn't suit me. Again, literally doesn't suit for me, just like with the word patikti, to, to be liked. The word tikte, tenka, tiko is also used with the dative case, like man patenka and man tenka. Man netenka. So you have to use the dative case with patikte and tikte. So ash man, shitas laikas man netenka. Unfortunately, this time doesn't suit me. Deja, shitas laikas man netenka. Are you spengtadini? Are you on Friday laisvas, free, or laisva? Are you spengtadini laisvas? Are you spengtadini laisvas? Or are you spengtani laisva? Are you spengtadini laisva? If you're talking to a man, you say laisvas. And if you're talking to a female, you say laisva. Are you spengtani laisva? So this is a polite sentence. Use plural is used with the... Uh, you can use this in business. Are you spengtani laisvas or laisva? This is a polite request, a polite question. Are you free, free or available on Friday? Shitas laikas, this time, mantenka, suits me or for me, suits, literally. Shitas laikas, mantenka. Shitas laikas, mantenka. This time, suits me. Deja, unfortunately, negalėsiu atvykti. I won't be able to come. Deja, negalėsiu atvykti. Deja, negalėsiu atvykti. Deja, negalėsiu atvykti. I won't be able. This is the future tense. Negalėsiu. Eškilo, have appeared. Nenumatytų kliučių. Unexpected obstacles. So, you put the word, the verb appeared, or there have appeared some unexpected obstacles. Because there are some unexpected obstacles. You're not talking about certain obstacles, you're just saying about obstacles in general. You're talking about obstacles in general. You use the date, uh, I'm sorry, the genitive case. Since when you're saying some like some milk, some sugar, or some obstacles, or some money, and so on, you use genitive. So this is iškilo nenumatytų kliučių. Iškilo nenumatytų kliučių. Iškilo nenumatytų kliučių. There have appeared some unexpected obstacles. Numatyti means to, ex uh, to expect and 
numatitas is a participle is a past tense participle numatiti numatitos glutis nenumatitos glutis means unexpected this is a past tense participle nenumatitos glutis and the plural genitive nenumatitu glutu nenumatitu glutu glutis glutu obstacles so iškelo nenumatitu glutu unexpected obstacles have appeared tomorrow i won't be able rytoj negalėsiu to meet sustikti with you su jumis rytoj negalėsiu su jumis susitikti rytoj negalėsiu su jumis susitikti rytoj negalėsiu su jumis susitikti tomorrow i won't be able to meet you but literally with you because with this verb susitikti to meet you should always use the preposition so and the instrumental case su jumis susitikti Apgailestauju. 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 I'm sorry. When you regret something or when you're when you uh, when you're sorry that you won't be able to meet someone or something when you should be sorry for something you can say apgailestauju. Apgailestauju. Gaila means it's a pity. Gaila and apgailestauju it's a verb a plus with a prefix uh, to be sorry about something or to gailetis means to regret and apgailestati means to be sorry for something prastai girdžiu prastai girdžiu prastai girdžiu i can hardly hear you prastai means badly literally badly here i Badly, I hear. Girdžiu. Prastai girdžiu. I can hardly hear you. Prastai girdžiu. Prastai girdžiu. Badly, I hear you. Literally. Or you can say, negirdžiu jūsų. When the connection is bad on the phone, you can say, negirdžiu jūsų. Negirdžiu jūsų. I don't hear you. Jūsų, plural genitive. When you're using the negative verb, you have to use genitive. Negirdžiu jūsų. When you're saying, I hear you, Girdžiujus, girdžiujus, the, this is accusative, jūs. And when you're saying the negative verb, I'm not hearing, I don't hear, negirdžiu jūsų, jūsų, genitive. Trūkčioja garsas, trūkčioja garsas, trūkčioja garsas, the sound is breaking up, or, uh, you know, the word order is different here, uh, breaking up the sound. Trūkščioja garsas. Or you can say prastas ryšys. Prastas ryšys. Ryšys means connection. Prastas means bad. Just like prastai is an adverb from made from the adjective prastas. Adjective uh, means bad. Prastas ryšys. The connection is bad. Gal galite pakartoti? Gal galite pakartoti? Can you repeat or could you repeat? Maybe you can. Gal galite. Maybe you can. Gal galite. To repeat. Pakartoti. Gal galite pakartoti? Gal galite pakartoti? Gal galite pakartoti? Maybe you can repeat. Or could you repeat, please? Gal galite kalbėti lėčiau? Gal galite kalbėti lėčiau? Could you talk slower? Gal galite kalbėti lėčiau? This is an uh, adverb. Uh, this is a comparative of an adverb. Letas, letai, letai means slowly. Lecho more slowly, and lechausi the mo in the most slowly way. Something like this. This is an adverb. Dingorishis, dingorishis. The connection was lost. Or dingte means to disappear. Dingorishis, dingorishis. Dingo is also used with electricity, with internet, with water supply. Dingo elektra, dingo vandua, dingo internetas. The, there is no internet, dingo internetas. The, literally, the internet has disappeared, or the connection, rishis, has disappeared. Dingo. 
So you can use this word with the internet, with electricity, with water supply and so on. Dingo rishis, the connection was lost. Chenyara risho, chenyara risho, there is no connection here, cha, cha, here is no nera connection, risho. Chenyara risho, chenyara risho, chenyara risho, išsikrovė mano telefonas. Išsikrovė mano telefonas. Išsikrovė means to, uh, to die for a phone. Like when you uh, charge some uh, phone, you say ikrauti. Išsikrovė telefonas. And when you're saying it, uh, it has died, the phone has died, you say išsikrovė. Like when you charge išsikrauti, ikrauti. When you charge out, literally, the phone has died, you say ishsikra. I ish, you know, the, the prefixes are different. Ishsikrave means has died. Ishsikrave mano telefonas. Uh, died my phone, literally. Ishsikrave mano telefonas. Ishsikrave mano telefonas. The word order is different here because you're emphasizing the word has died. My phone has died. So, you put it as the first word of the sentence because this is the emphasis is on this word, on this phrase. Maybe you have, or do you have, gal turite some uh, a Samsung char uh, charger, Samsung ikrovikli, gal turite Samsung ikrovikli, gal turite Samsung ikrovikli. Ikrovikli means a charger, a phone charger. Gal turite Samsung ikrovikli? Maybe you have, or do you have? Because gal means maybe. Kur rozete? Kur rozete? Kur rozete? Kur rozete? Where's the socket? Where's the power socket? Where you could put your charger in? So I hope that this lesson was useful. We'll see in... I'll see you in the 12th lesson.